Hey everybody, I'm Jason. I'm here with uh, Josh and Marcus. And what was your name again? Calum. Calum. And we're going to be talking NXT TakeOver New Orleans, which I won't be talking much because I don't really know any of it. <laughs> I'm going to let the, them take it over. Um, so, yeah. By all means. I mean, I guess we'll start off. Basically, we made the list, so I guess we'll go down. Okay. Top to bottom. Okay. Um, so the first matchup or on our list is the NXT Tag Team Championship. Undisputed Era. Which is normally Bobby Fish and uh, Kyle O'Reilly. Okay. But uh, Adam Cole's taking Bobby Fish's place because he had a, a was it a shoulder injury? I I, I thought it was a knee injury, but uh, actually I, I think it's about right. During a house show, so Adam Cole's taking he's running double duty. He's that doing night. double yeah. God, he's running that fucking ladder match too. Yeah. yeah. Uh -huh. it's gonna, I Jeez. Um. Then you have Authors of Pain, and then uh, versus Authors of Pain versus Roderick Strong and Pete Dunne. So it's a triple threat tag team match for the NXT tag belts. That's awesome. Um, see, that would be a hell of an opener. So on this, I think I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to shoot wild and go st strong and done just because I know Undisputed Era is not keeping the titles just because it's cold taking place. Um, yeah, it feels like they have plans for Cole who will go off to do some more. Yeah, maybe yeah. win the North American Championship. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. <laughs> Yeah, it, it'll probably be one of those things where he, you know, the Seth Rollins lost, lost his match early on against Orton, then comes in and wins. Yeah, the big one later. Yeah, Bret um, Hart did that too. Yeah, um, it it just seems like this may be just a setup match for down there. Um, I, seeing it written out is so much better the authors of pain is such a good name yeah, yeah. <laughs> and they're so and they're yeah. big guys too yeah oh yeah yeah they're bruisers yeah. but they're also ninja turtle villains Akum and Razor. Oh, yeah. <laughs> this is true yeah. <laughs> and those like turtle masks they wear yeah. to the rings now wow. yeah. that's perfect <laughs> so you you're saying strong and done um just for the flair Especially since Dunn is the UK championship, so be something different that NXT really hasn't done as a double title. Yeah, that would be pretty cool. I'm gonna say Authors of Pain just because it seems like they could hold it for a little bit um, on the show, and they could they could have some good matches with it. I mean, this would be their second or third reign. Second. Second. To be a two-time tag champs. Yeah, I didn't know they weren't the champs. They were champions yeah. for a long time. Yeah, they took it off a of uh, DIY. Oh, okay. Yeah. Back it not was for Chicago because they because the Chicago was the rematch so whatever that one was it might have been Mania it might have been last year's Mania could have been yeah I would just like to see Roger Strong and Pete Dunne I've always been a fan of both of them yeah. and then uh, especially well not Pete Dunne always because well, I've only found out about him recently but he's since he's coming to the he's WWE. really good and yeah. Roger Strong I've always liked um, but Pete Dunne I I. I like him because he's different. You know what I mean. Yeah. It's not the same. He's the actually cruiserweight. Right. I love that he's a character, and, and not that I, everybody needs to be one. But it's like nowadays, it's the only way to distinguish you, and that's kind of what's two hundred five, which is a different thing. Its problem is that they're all just smaller Seth Rollins and smaller or same size <laughs> Finn Balor's. Um, well, it's like we're, like we're talking in the last cast. They've actually upgraded it. Oh. So since good, yeah. uh, Drake Maverick right or Rockstar but Scott. I mean like the way they wrestle it's like yeah. not like when you used to watch WCW in the 90s and you were just that's why I loved it because it was so much different than all the other wrestlers but now even the big guys wrestle I guess it's more so the problem that the heavyweights wrestle more like the cruiserweights and the cruiserweights right. wrestle like the heavyweights it's, it's a heavyweight problem not a cruiserweight problem alright because you have your heavyweight champion being a 195 pound guy and you're like <laughs> really? I mean, I love Finn Balor. I love him, but it was just you know when you hear the weight, you're like that. That guy's technically yeah. would wrestle Rey Mysterio and Dean Malenko. Yeah, but he can keep up with big guys. That's right? No, matters. I'm not saying that's not. not yeah. What I'm just saying it's just so crazy. You don't have big guys anymore. Yeah, that's one of the things that I'm finding with 205 Live is because I'm definitely from the old school of wrestling, and when they brought in you know the cruiserweights and they called it you know. The featherweights back yeah, it was before like a that. Spectacle. It was yeah, it was it was a spectacle. It was a ten minute match that hit the card, you know, in the first hour. Yeah. And it was something to get you pumped up for that first the, the first hour's main event. 
Um, and then you get to the 90s and you saw Rey Mysterio, Billy Kidman, uh, Eddie Guerrero, Chris Jericho. These guys just light it up. Oh, yeah. And now we're looking at it and it's like, wow, they are wrestling like Nash and Hall did with these super high impact moves right. It in a cruiserweight thing. That's so cool to see. But at the same time, you're like, I've, I've seen it before. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so that's why I like that's why I like Pete Dunne to go back to it. It's Pete. That's why I like Pete Dunne because he's deep, different. He's not the cruiserweight. He's the bruiser. He's the bruiser weight. Right. Yeah. That's what I really like about him. <laughs> what about you? Who do you got? Oh man. Uh, I thought it's not gonna be Authors of Pain. I think they're gonna move up like Raw. Needs, the Raw after Mania. Yeah, they Raw needs like a big powerhouse tag team, and I think they'll be good for that. So I would say not them. I just, I just don't see them putting the belts on strong in Pete Dunne just because there's really no, like, build to them. Like, they randomly threw this together. Like, because a couple weeks before that, um, Strong had a UK title match and lost. And all, and they were kind of button heads, kind of saying, oh, I'm going to I'm gonna beat you for that belt. And all of a sudden, they're a tag team. It really, I mean, in a way, it's almost like a Seamus Cesaro situation. Yeah. But well, it's yeah. just more out of respect. Yeah. I mean, I want, I want them to win. I really do. But... I feel like how cool would it be, Adam Cole, when they came in, Undisputed Era was the shock to the system. They wanted to win all the belts. Have Adam Cole get get these two belts tonight. It would be. I mean, that would be, be awesome. Something. I'd be okay with Cole being technically a double champion until Bobby yeah. Fish got back. Yeah, yeah. that would be. That'd be, that'd be be pretty cool. By the way, we cannot ignore the fact that you said Sheamus and Cesaro. Who else? I know we were all together when we saw it. Brain Strowman. Oh, yeah. That's my new favorite character. Yeah. <laughs> Brain and Braun Strowman. So you, know, you know what they actually could do is, is um, they could do uh, the the Freebird rule and the Authors of Pain can be Braun Strowman's tag partner. <laughs> That'd be cool. interesting. That'd be horrifying. You're like, oh, you yeah. three get to change out every time. Well, well you're fucking dead anyway. <laughs> yeah, they could not ride in a car together. <laughs> it would, that car would be scraping I the know. bottom. <laughs> Then they can do the uh, the free bird rule. Who did, who did so you're going on the speeded error for that one now? Yeah, it'll be, I'll be different and I'll pick them. <laughs> All right. So next down the list, you have Johnny Gargano and Tam- Tamasa Ciampa. In yeah. an unsanctioned match. So this is like a... Because they were a tag team, right? Right. Mm-hmm. Um, was it Chicago? It was TakeOver Chicago. Yeah. After the latter match with Authors of Pain. Uh, Ciampa turned on yeah. Gargano. So he grabs him and like, throws him into the, yeah. the staging area or and whatever then, it is. Throws them off the stage and all that. Yeah. Um, so they've been, and then at that time, Gargano or not Gargano, uh, Chomp was actually injured. Mm-hmm. So that was kind of how they played off for him to leave for a little bit. Um, so they split the team. Uh, Gargano was gone a little bit too, he's recovering from. I guess he had suffered an injury at the same time too. Right. But he was back sooner than Chompa was. Mm-hmm. Um, and then as within the last month, Chompa finally made his return, and. Um, when he made his return, he, he was actually it was Gargano versus uh, Cien Almas for the NXT Championship match. In a uh, if Gargano loses, he's out of NXT. Okay. So Champa made his return uh, and cost Gargano the match. So within since that match, Gargano's been showing up like back or outside of the of the um, arena. Arena. Chasing him down, showing up at his house and stuff. They put those online, those vignettes online. Um, and then, like, last week's <laughs> show, he was in the crowd. Mm-hmm. Well, not last week, it was the week before. Yeah. Because he was going in ripping up the signs. Yeah. So Chompa, he looks away and it's Johnny. <laughs> yeah. Champa tried to come out and do a promo. The crowd was just basically like Roman Reigns after he beat after Taker. After Taker, yeah. Yeah. Oh, the crowd wouldn't shut up. So he just he rip, go up to rip up signs and leave. Did two weeks in a row, then the, the third he week. Nothing. Yeah, he you can get this. a single word out. Um, but yeah, that third week, Johnny was behind one of the big signs. Champa grabbed it, looked away, and then yeah, Gargano jumped and tagged him. Nice. So last week they real made it an unsanctioned match. Yeah, because um, like, well, he's, not part, of the, uh, he's right. not part of the company, right? Okay, right. So any so it's like, so, and now if Gargano actually loses this match, he's gone for good. Right. So oh, so he's definitely gonna win this match. One thing that's one thing that's pretty awesome with this We're match better. is they're 
is they're both incredible. Like, yes. They, oh, yeah. They, Did you watch the 205 Live? I actually watched that recently just yeah. to, to I, see the chemistry. I, yeah, I've seen that one. You just, you, even when they were tag team, just, yeah. it, it, all the stuff that they could mm-hmm. do. This match is, I, I honestly think, I, I didn't know. I Honestly, I'm a few months behind on NXT work and all the family stuff. But when you showed me this and I saw them on there, I'm like, they better give them 20 minutes. Oh, yeah. And it's how much these guys can do. They can storytell through matches. Yeah. And they're super athletic, so I don't care who wins, honestly, <laughs> because it's going to be a good one. Honestly, that's probably my, my vote is probably be match of the night. I like match of the weekend. Like, if I look at all the cards... That could be the one that yeah, it could tie. I mean, it's gonna the whole weekend, like so you, <laughs> between, Sunday between that and Mania, really, and, and the other indie shows too. Like I really, well, I don't know that Cody well, Kenny match. It that'll that'll probably be one and two. Yeah. <laughs> See, I I can't get on the I I can't get on the Kenny. Train. I really? can't get on the yeah, Cody train. Good. I see. I'm kind of the same too. I can't get on the Cody train because I can. Lo- I'm loving his heel oh. work, man. It's- oh yeah, he's yes. Did you yeah. watch yes. <laughs> his uh, post uh, Strong Style Evolve press conference? Like it was, it was, mm-hmm. well, it was one of the best post interview matches that I've ever seen. Yeah, he he was killing it. He yeah. threw everybody on the bus. See the Kenny, the Kenny stuff. I don't mind Jericho and him. Oh. It's Amazing. Match, yeah. it, it, I mean, it was it was for where they were at. It was pretty it was pretty good. good. Yeah, um, yeah. It wasn't a it throwaway was, match. Two guys that hadn't seen each other in a long time. But, but it also well. wasn't like some six star. Yeah, classic, it know? wasn't. It wasn't Michael's taker. Right. Um, one answer. One answer. <laughs> yeah, because <laughs> everybody uh, seems to think two, and I'm like one. Yes, yeah. but it was really good. Um, now. <sighs> Cody to me, he's not. He's not believable as the big guy. You know what I'm saying? He's just not, not the, the champion. He is not the guy to me. And I don't know if that's a character flaw of his or a body flaw, like because he's kind of a smaller guy. Yeah, he's bigger than yeah. Kenny though. Yeah, he's bigger than Kenny, but Kenny he stood right next to both of them, man. <laughs> yeah, but yeah. Kenny's got yeah. like, he's got like that. Yeah, I mean, you know what I mean. Yeah, yeah. he's a yeah, he's much. I think he's much more thicker. Yeah, he's like it's, a it's that Finn it's that Balor. same problem I have with you just said Finn Balor is. I'm never gonna it, believability is a problem for me, yeah. and if you put Finn in the ring with Brock Lesnar, of course, in a real fight, oh, I yeah. always believe Brock Lesnar is gonna kick the shit out of Finn him Balor. Alive. Yeah, but um, that's like most. Cases yeah, he does that to anybody. This is true, except like, for Goldberg. Minute twenty six seconds. Yeah, but in, <laughs> but in real life though, he yes. would have murdered Goldberg. Yes, but then we just call Frank Mir, and Frank Mir puts a whooping on him. Well, yeah, he grabs his leg. <laughs> He's like, "You got my only weakness, the leg." Just, yeah, my okay. my twig of an ankle. So who do you have though, Gargano or Champa? I got Gargano. I mean, for what the match is, I'm going to go Ciampa, just because I think it's going to be Gargano's call-up. Call-up, yeah. What, to uh, SmackDown? I think he'd be great at SmackDown. <laughs> I'm going to say Bless Raw, you. just because of the crew, just because of 205. I can see him on 205. Oh, yeah. yeah, but is that really a call-up? Well, no, I mean, call to Raw, <laughs> but it'd be part of 205 <laughs> Wait as well. a minute. Now, yeah, it, okay. now it is. So he Back then, it wasn't. I, it's getting I will better. Say this. Yeah, I know yeah. you. I know you don't like him. I would love to see. I'd love to see Gargano uh, work with the Miz. That'd uh, be yeah. pretty good. I think it would. Yeah, be, I like I Gargano. Be, I think it would be a great match. Mm-hmm. That's awesome. Um, Cody, I'm Cody Miz in that, or even Miz and Gargano would be close. awesome. Uh, really got like a height, and that's a that's a good part to bring them in at. Yeah, that's true. But, um, but also like Gargano, I, mean, I, can, I can see him on either show. Yeah. Cause like Gargano and Rollins, Gargano and AJ, Gargano and Shinsuke, Gargano and Rude. That'd be for yeah. a lower for it coming in. If Rude wins the U.S. title, um, you can pull on, Kevin Owens on this thing. We could. I mean, Gargano could come first Cena. night on 
SmackDown and beat Rude, and, beat Rude yeah. and you got Gargano as the U.S. champion. I would be okay with that. And it'd be, it'd be a very cool match. It would throw Rude off his game, um, and it would open him up for some more storyline well, stuff. Well, then it also helps out NXT a lot. Yes. That you're just yeah. like, yeah, this guy got called up. It's like Kevin Owens. Like, that yeah. helped them out so much, having him come up and then beat John Cena. Like, yeah. Like, that... That was before people started to beat John Cena. Right. Like, now it's kind of like, oh, cool, somebody beat John Cena. Yeah, that was I, strapping a rock. I'm not sure if you guys yeah. saw it Monday night, but John Cena's promo they yeah. did, it was actually pretty good. I didn't was, see he, all he, of he it. Won, it was I a, know he said a reset a, day. It was, a, it was a fan promo. Yeah, he did. He, uh, he talked about all the matches and everything. Yeah. yeah. He was calling out the taker again, but, of course, no show. Nope. Um, but yeah, he threw out Rusev Day. He and threw out. He's proud of all the women's matches, not just. Yeah. Like, it was a pretty cool promo. Yeah, uh, if if there's one thing you're always going to find, John Cena's prom. We're gonna look back in 15 years after he retires and go, God, he took a lot of shit for nothing. Yeah. <laughs> um, it's cool to not like him right now. And but I think that's kind of past more to Roman yeah. Reigns. Yeah, yeah it's cool not it's, to like Roman Reigns, but now it's like getting super ironic and annoying because Roman Reigns. To, and I know it's like this is such an unpopular opinion, but I like him of the Shield members. He's my favorite. <laughs> oh, uh, yeah, dude, he, I, I do he hates not Ambrose. like Dean Ambrose. Oh, he uh, hates okay. Roman. Dude, as, all right, I as a wrestler, uh, well, Seth obviously, but. <laughs> but, you know, like I said, Roman is a, is a good. Re- he's a great wrestler. He really is. He's gotten a lot better. Yeah. Um, his promos are terrible. Um, that's, that's fair. But it's, <laughs> it's what he's given. Like, it's you mean he, that's your guy? <laughs> he's, yeah, he's got the best. <laughs> he's leader. also ter- they're both really good workers. We'll give him yeah. that. Promos. Uh, it, they, oh, Roman's much worse. Yeah. yeah. Dean Ambrose is the worst though. He's just like. It's like they just at gorilla position. Somebody comes up with like elephant tranquilizer and just injects it right into him, and they're like, "I right, go." And he's like, "All right, man, here we go." And then, <laughs> and then I did not like. Uh, my biggest thing was was Mar Ronaldo doing like the names for moves. Oh. I hate name the lunatic lariat. I just I right when I hear that, I'm like, nope, done. <laughs> I check out at that point. See, but I see his promos as more. Along those lines of McFoley, where you gotta have yeah, the, but that's what people the, want it to be. But it's, he's I was alright with Dean's promos. They, he's like he man, love, he's like mankind. If I he's love like, he never tell, do what super drugged up. Tell me, tell me, you didn't love the thing with the hot dog cart? And oh no! Stealing <laughs> the cage from <laughs> no, Rollins. I hate that stuff. <laughs> oh, it was it, amazing. I gave it back. He opened up no. with splatter. No, it's like with the New Day. Like, I, I, oh I, my god! I could do a whole show on them. With Dean when. Finn Balor on his first time going raw, like coming back from his injury, it just shows on his ab. His Dean's like, "Good lord, man, he had a car." Yeah, yeah, it's just uh, uh, the uh, last thing on Dean. Um, the the um, where he's in there with the psychiatrist all night on Raw, mm-hmm. and it finally turns around, and he's in the psychiatrist, oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and this dude's just losing it. That was a perfect... Just, he didn't do anything all night until the very end, but he entertained using his chops, just yeah. being the guy. And I guess one more thing, Dean thing, is when he had that street fight with uh, Lesnar. Uh, Before yes. that, that promo with the Legends, they kept getting, like, uh, Mankind gave him the barbed wire bat. Yeah. Terry Funk gave him the chainsaw. Yeah. Um, but stuff like that. Mm-hmm. I mean, no. I enjoy watching, I, but again, not, not everybody weird. can love everybody. <laughs> Anyways, I do not love uh, so who do you got for Trump under uh, <laughs> Yeah, can we get to this one? <laughs> I've had we'll get Garg- to this I, I have Gargano just because I like Gargano yeah. a little bit more. Oh yeah, yeah. Um, I, got, I got Gargano. What about you? That's the reason I picked Trump because of the call up thing. Yeah, uh, I'm gonna go with Trump. I think Triple H has a vision for his 205 Live, and he's yeah. getting all these great wrestlers, and the show's going amazing. Yeah. And Gargano is part of that. Is a part of that? Yeah. And I think that's where he's gonna go. Which, I mean, he's doing uh, very well. Where do you go with Trump though? I keep him on. That, that's keep Sam him well. for a little bit, and then maybe SummerSlam. Have bring him up to fight Gargano. Have Gargano win a belt, a mid card belt. <laughs> so you, so you, so either title? cruiserweight or maybe the U.S. or Intercontinental, and then his first uh, or and then after the, like his rematch with the the 
the champion, yeah. or the former champion, have Trump be his first feud. Because that was, yeah. the, that was the vision between these two. The reason they broke them up is when they pushed them up, they wanted to be singles competitors. Right. They didn't want to push them up as a team. So then, yeah, you have Ciampa come up to fight him for his title. Yeah. Cruiserweight title or whatever. I mean, yeah, maybe have Ciampa win the, the North American at the next takeover mm-hmm. or something. Bring him yeah. up. Well, I think he just got there, though, didn't he? Yeah, that's what I'm going to do next. Oh, them. You think they're going to be the... That's what so I would do. Because kind of what I think is that... Dude, it's either going to be Ricochet him. Ricochet versus Ciampa. Is yeah, what, what I think... We'll see Ricochet this... maybe rumble. Well, now, no. yes, that's what I'm thinking. No, in NXT. Yeah, because he said what oh. to do next with Ciampa. Yeah. Since I'm Uh-oh. keeping Ciampa... Unless you got... Because I'm kind of thinking it's either going to be one of them two. Probably him for that. Yeah. I can't see why you'd bring him in for any other reason. He'd be... We'll, we'll get to I will get to it, but yeah, yeah. But I mean, seeing that, I'm like, yeah, EC3. that's why. When you guys said the well, other names, I'm like, I mean, as little as I know, this is the one I know the most about because of the names. And I'm like, yeah, that, yeah, I can't. I mean, him, yes, but all right. So uh, I got Gargano. You got Champa, Champa, Gargano. Gargano. All right. So then we have the NXT Women's Championship, Ember Moon, who I love. I love Ember Moon. Um, and then uh, Shauna Bla- Baszler, mm-hmm. and then she's the uh, former MMA. MMA. Yeah. 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 She, yeah she's. Not pretty. No, she's rough. <laughs> Uh, she yeah. makes Ruby Riot look like a ten. Uh, yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. Who, who's who said she looked like uh like from Mario from Mario like the skull things? I'm not sure. I can't remember, but she she looks like a skull. Yeah. She, she also she, looks, she beat the piss out of you, but she looks uh, like oh no, it was uh, me. She, uh, she looks like the yeah. Koopa like the Koopas from the Mario movie. Oh, oh <laughs> like with the little yeah. Oh damn. That's, that's what I'm gonna. If put, you haven't seen her, look her I'm up. I'm gonna put that up whenever I put this up on YouTube. I'm gonna have a picture of that. So everybody can, so that's the only part I'm gonna edit is that face. Um, so, um, I'm not really sure how much the build has been going because it's I don't a rematch know. from last takeover. I mean, it was it was a pretty good match. I mean, it was wrestling again, kind of like. Like we've seen in the past, it's wrestling versus MMA. Yeah, that's that's actually one of the matches I watched from that. That's that's the pay per view. Um, it was a decent match. Yeah. yeah, she not like fully injured, but caused injury to Ember Moon, which we saw at the Rumble. The shoulder, right? Yeah. Which she she actually played off very well. Was it like story or was that? It was story. Uh, yeah. Okay. Because it wasn't because she still wrestled. Because that was actually my favorite part of the Rumble when she came in with Oscar. Yeah. And then Oscar making front of the arm and. Just the way she sells, I mean, she's terrifying. Just, yeah. She's, uh, I, I she's really another like one that's kind of like Asuka, kind of scary hot. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Not as scary as Asuka, but, I mean... I think she sells ter- really well, yeah. though. Like, she's a really... She's really got it in the face. Yeah. Um, I loved the whole Ember Moon coming into the Rumble thing. Yeah. The her, yeah. She did really well uh, when she hit that stunner. I was like, oh, that's dangerous looking. Yeah, the, <laughs> um, the eclipse. Yeah. Um, what was it? Yeah. But, uh, the half salt stunner off the top rope. How long do you take bets that WWE stops putting these MMA tags on women with Rousey being the top? Yeah, I think I think Rousey's lost MMA at least for a while. Yeah, they're they're right, one that really like push that it's MMA. You know yeah, yeah, I mean? they because you had Ken Shamrock and they got rid of when after, when Ken Shamrock came in, they had a couple guys that yeah, were like Dan, that. Dan the B Seven. Yeah, yeah and they he's a fucking like he's legit as shit. Yeah, too. that man will kill you. He'll kill you. <laughs> he's got, yeah, with his mustache. Yeah, <laughs> um, <laughs> but like I think that's gonna be the new thing is. You know, we have to protect this character in Ronda Rousey, yeah. and because she just invested so much money in it. Yeah, so well, I mean, yeah, she's in a she's in a match with Triple H and Kurt Angle at WrestleMania. I yeah, mean, and Stephanie. Yeah. But I mean, you got. I would love to see like an MMA like. I would love to see Rousey have like her NWO of MMA people though. I think that yeah, would be, that'd be awesome. Interesting. Just because they're legit. I mean, what do you... Other than, I, like, Nia Jax and Charlotte, they're just going to go... Like, no. Sasha Banks fighting Ronda what Rousey. They, you're like, yeah, okay. Have, they, have, have, you like me versus my four-year-old. Have like, Ronda four-year-old. replace Paige when Paige leaves. Because yeah. yeah. her and uh, DeVille. Since I want, DeVille's... I what I like say is WWE work. needs to just roll out the pocketbook, sign the rest of the four horsewomen. That's what should have been the match for WrestleMania. Yeah. Year. And have, have a... Feud between WWE's four horsewomen versus UFC's four horsewomen, hmm. and That's what lead that into Survivor yeah. Series. Well, maybe you'll get it next year. I mean, you. 
I mean, it's amazing how from last year to this year things are. Like, you yeah. know the things that were going to happen is the Roman and the Brock, but I mean... I mean, I, I, yeah. Survivor Series, yeah, I mean, Mania, yeah, would be the perfect thing. Yeah. But I think Survivor Series would be better just because the title of the, the pay-per-view. Right. It's basically whoever who's the better brand. Yeah. Um, and then well, also we'll do. elimination style match. Yeah. Give so Rob get, some time to you know get better. Yeah. yeah. Um. So this one I have, I don't know. Like I I want to say Amber Moon just because I really like her, but then I'm also thinking that she's been putting a lot of time down in NXT, so maybe it's. I mean, they're starting to fill up a lot yeah. uh, for the women's division. They, they have a lot of just... I mean, it's, they could use more, because I would love to see a women's tag division. Yeah, um, um, which is rumored right. to be so happening. I would, I, I would hate for her to get shuffled into that, though. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah. But I can't... I don't know. I don't know if, if, from what I've seen of mm-hmm. Shanna Baszler, if she's going to be like she, a champion. Like, she, like, I guess she's a fighter, but I yeah. mean... Like in, in UFC, it could work because it's you know I mean they really have yeah. to earn that and beat the piss out of each other. But right. I just don't know if she's I don't know like the mic work and stuff I've seen from her. I'm not because I follow this one a little bit yeah, and she's uh, pretty green. Right. But I would love to see Ember Moon move up. Right. So you're gonna go with Shayna with this one? I don't know. See, it's <laughs> tough because I I want Ember Moon to move up, but she's probably gonna retain. I can't see Shayna. But, being the one that they're like, yeah, you're gonna you're gonna be the women's division now. Well, see, one way to put a thought to this is, if Shayna wins, yeah, she's not only getting the women's champion or championship, she's also being Ember Moon's streak because Ember Moon is undefeated as well. Yeah. Yeah. I'm sure you she's never she she catapulted along with the Oh yeah, she did. Yeah, she lost yeah, to yeah, Asuka right. twice. Yeah, but that's like it though. Yeah. Right. But still, she lost to Asuka like a year ago. Right. But she's been she hasn't been on a losing streak. She she's been on a winning streak since then. Yeah. I forgot about yeah. it, was, it was undefeated versus undefeated. Yeah, um, yeah. I, I'm. It's probably gonna be Ember Moon. I can't imagine that. I mean, maybe Shayna. Yeah, no, I'm. I'm thinking Ember Moon's gonna win. I'm Plus, gonna, I love her fucking. I'm gonna say Ember. She's gonna hold it until the next takeover, and she's gonna get pushed up after SummerSlam, or at SummerSlam. At SummerSlam. That's my just because right now, if Shayna wins, or I mean, cause she do, there's really no other competitor for her. Right now, yeah, because I'm trying to think about the women's division, and it's as like as much as they had the fucking May Young Classic. You're like that helped out the Cruiserweight Classic built 205. You yeah. know what I mean? You had you have your tag teams, which is cool because you get to see a lot of other wrestlers. But the women's, you you think? I mean, you have what's her? It's Kyrie Kyrie, Kyrie Sane. Sane. Yeah, she's yeah. incredible. I yeah. her elbow drop is it looks like it's Pretty gonna end her hers. career eventually, but because uh, <laughs> she's just all body. Yeah. Um, but you have all these women from all over the world, and you're just, you're, I mean, you're kind of, you're just, like the, in the main rosters, Raw and SmackDown, it's really stagnant, you know what I mean? Yeah. There's nobody mm-hmm. coming in, and the people that are coming in, you're just kind of like, Paige, but then Paige gets hurt, and yeah. then you have... Then she brings up with two under unbuilt names, right. no names, really. And then they do the same thing on SmackDown, which Ruby Riot I've gained a lot of appreciation for, because I never really followed her in NXT, but... Uh, as she came up with the main roster, I like least, her work a lot more. At least with the Riot Squad, she has somebody on her team that has background on her team. Right. Uh, what's her name? Um, not Liv Morgan, the other one. Mandy Rose? Or? No, that's... that's no, that's... Uh, the, yeah, Sarah see, Logan? Yeah, Sarah Logan, which is Crazy Mary Dobson. Yeah. And everybody in the Indy League knows who she is. Mm-hmm. Um, okay, but, who you got? I'm going to go with Shayna. I think the NXT women's division is very face-heavy. And so... I so think, she's got, like, a number of opponents that... Yeah. Yeah. And there's really no other heels for Moon to go up against. And I, I don't think you can keep this rivalry going. Because it kind of has been a little stale to me. It's just the classic heel that's just like a bully. Yeah. And, it, and it's there's not much more I can see you doing with it. Well, I mean, yeah, if Shayna with... wins, that's going to continue to feud, though. Yeah, but it, I think it'd be well, better if, rematch. It's, if, a, yeah. if the baby face is chasing the heel. It'll, it'll yeah. be better. And see, that's the thing I don't like is the rematch clause because it's like you have, you have the, say you're having the champion go out uh, other than Oscar. You have the champion going out, so you have them lose the title. And then immediately after that, they lose the rematch yeah. and yeah. then you push them up and you're like so you lost the title lost the rematch here yeah come up to Raw they, come up to Smackdown yeah. like they, I know they don't always do that but yeah. I would hate for okay I, if she loses I want her up I want her up the next day or two days after that 
If they, so that's, uh, why was, that. so that's why I was saying the takeover. Have a push up at SummerSlam, lose yeah. the belt to somebody. Maybe they happen to sign somebody new between now and then. Right. Or maybe do a Shayna Ember round three right. and have yeah. Shayna take the belt off her then, and then that's possible. Push Ember Moon at SummerSlam. You could also have because they've done Shayna where she attacks people. And she has that move where she like goes like that. And she stomps on their arms. Mm-hmm. They could write Moon off that way. Just yeah, Andrea. Yeah. And then come back for a rematch and take over. Yeah. Uh, yeah, this is the rematch thing always drives me crazy because it's like lose lose see ya. Yeah. Have you picked one yet, John? Yeah, I'm I'm going with Shayna just because I I really want to see Ember Moon up. But, yeah. Uh, I think she's I, I think she's gonna be, that competition that probably the the raw division of women probably need a little bit more right now. Yeah. Um, Especially yes, since they lost Oscar. Yeah, they lost Oscar. Um, that would be a good, you know... It, think about that. I mean, you see Ember Moon as the Raw Women's Champion and Oscar as the yeah, SmackDown well, Women's Champion. Yeah. <laughs> well, let's, let's let Nia Jax win the title first, which oh, she yeah. should have won like a long-ass yeah. time ago. Well, she's going to do this Because I know you love the shirt, but Alexa Bliss... I just threw it on. God. No, I know, no, I'm just the, saying. I work for him. I'm the Bliss fan. Yeah. See, I just don't get it. I don't... She's... I think <laughs> Nia... Especially in the division that Nia Jax is wrestling in. Yeah. Which she's still... like they Sometimes she's... for sure. Some, but sometimes Nia's super green. Like, when you see the shit she's doing, yeah. you're like, yeah. man, you're really intense and crazy. But then other times, she's just like, rah! Like, yeah. You're, you're in front of millions of people right now. But you'll enjoy this. The takeover we watched a while, a couple years ago, and he I have my notes. his notes because you were doing again a, a review that time. Uh-huh. Yep. The only note he took about looks at Bliss, nice butt. Nice butt. I have uh, <laughs> Carmella. I don't remember what hers was like. Annoying but good because like she's meant. You know what I mean? Like Carmella is not the best worker, but she's super annoying and it's entertaining. You know what I mean? Yeah, she's, she's supposed to be the annoying. way she screams. Like yeah, you want to like punch her. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I would uh, I would love to see Ember go up to face Nia Jax, and then maybe yeah. be the one that. I just want I just want to see because I liked the Oscar Ember matches so yeah. much. I'd love to have just a moment, even if it's backstage at one of the crossover pay per views, where they bump into each other, and they're both champion, and I'd be like, that's pretty cool. Well, we got like a long because Oscar's probably going to be the champion for. Oh well, yeah, at least I mean, the, yeah, I'm hoping, but the way that he is, you're like. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. They love uh, to pass those women titles could, around. Yeah, it could be. Another. Other than to Alexa, I mean, if it's Alexa goes to SmackDown, sorry, Oscar, you're losing that title. Yeah, it could be another. Sorry, sh- I don't know that. It happens all the time during my com- <laughs> during the commentary when I watch pay per views. They'll keep saying Alexa, and then she'll she'll be like, I don't know what you know, I, or she'll just randomly play radio stations. Yeah, because she's at Michael Cole say Alexa Bliss, and then she thinks it's talking to her. <laughs> um, so, and who did you have? You have I have Ember. Ember. All right. So you have the NXT North American Championship, oh. which is the debut of. I mean, the debut the title, but I mean, this is the the uh, inaugural. Yeah. I guess you're champion. So you're gonna have Adam Cole, who's pulling double duty. Uh, Velveteen Dream, which I've seen. A, that's he's awesome. And I've seen that. A, it's like uh, black gold dust. It's the best way I can think of. Uh, yeah. The way I mean, it's, it's essentially a prince. Yeah. Which is right. A, a gimmick. It's but he's an amazing. It's everything they wanted Fandango and Tyler Breeze's characters to be. Nice, but, but good. good. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, that that man's gonna be Brazongo's a world champion great. one day. Um, Killian Dane, uh, Lars Sullivan. Lars Sullivan's the guy with like the massive head, right? He's yeah, just, he's like just, he's like Kane on masks. Yeah, yeah, he's just he's, he's head, terrifying. Yeah. Look, yeah. like his face is you're like, oh yeah. god. Um, Ricochet and then EC three. I just, I, I, I really want to see that moment because you know there's going to be one where two big guys get in the ring. I want to see Killian Dane and Lars Sullivan they just like run tonight. at each other. Tonight on NXT, tonight they actually have a match going. Oh, that's because, nice. because Lars wants Killian, so. Yeah. They're going to take each other out for sure. Killian's so good. I, I don't. Oh, he's. he's Killian Dane, yeah. yeah he's I heard him so talk good. the first time and cut that promo against Alistair. Mm-hmm. He has a strong Irish accent. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, well, he's yeah. from, uh, he was from the, um, the what cultures, uh, yeah, WCPW. Yeah. He, was yeah. Fir- he was their first champion. Like, Big Demo, right? Big Demo. Yeah. That's why I watched that's, the interview. And that's why I was so, that's why I'm so excited for him to be there, because you're seeing him do that, and then now he's a big guy, and, and he's also fucking terrifying. I love yeah. him. He's just this big, hairy gorilla man. Yeah. He looks just like a barbarian. Like, that guy's a real Viking. Like, when yeah. you see him, mm-hmm. 
If I was him, I would dress like that everywhere. I would <laughs> always be in my gimmick. And, and NXT did the right thing with him, putting him with the group as they did. Miss Hattie, yeah. And yeah. Letting, oh. him, letting him, letting him, letting him, because he had a lot of upcred right. coming into NXT. They let it fizzle a little bit, and then they built it naturally the way they wanted it built. Right. And now he's believable in a WWE system. Yeah. Like, at first, when Insanity, at first it was always like Eric Young was their leader, but if you see the way they come out lately, it's mm-hmm. like Killing Dane is the main focus. Yeah. Like they've he's Well, he's the muscle. Yeah, he's naturally yeah. And become... I, and I love Eric Young. Like, that was one of the redeeming things for me on TNA when I, like... Because you'd be sitting there and you'd be like, oh my god, this is so bad. Mm-hmm. And then he'd come out and you'd perk up a little bit. <laughs> and then he'd go away and I'd change the channel. Yeah. <laughs> um, but, like, yes. Putting him in that group, I liked the whole... Because, remember when he first joined the group, he was just a hitman. It, yeah. Whatever Eric, Run, Eric Young said, hit mm-hmm. that. And Hulk smash. Yes, Hulk smash. <laughs> Um, and now that he's gotten a chance to kind of not break away, but be himself, they've risen him up to a statue at WWE. Did, did you watch TakeOver the uh, War Games? Yes. That, that, that was match. his come out. That was yeah. his breakout moment. Like, yeah. he really. <laughs> Poor. Uh... <laughs> I can't believe his name. Poor all of them that were in that game. <laughs> that was just a car. All right, but. but uh... Alexander Wolf, though. Yes. He had the, the, the gash in his head oh, man. Yeah. when he took that table hit. Mm-hmm. I mean, yeah, all of them, yeah. That was a car wreck of a match. Yeah. I, that, I loved every second of that. That was, inc- by the way, everybody's like, War Games will never work. War Games will never yeah. work. And they bring it back, and it's like, it was, oh, it there's was, a reason uh, that the Horsemen got famous off of those matches right. and stuff like that is because it's so different and it's yeah. so violent. And I love that they took the top off of it, too. Yeah. Top. Taking the top off that was amazing. People were worried about that at first, but it turned yeah. out to be a good yeah. idea. Right. So. And all the weapon used, too, was... Mm-hmm. It's so fluid. Yeah. Everything that matches just worked together perfectly. If I could do anything that I would have changed in that, I would have taken the shark cages and just had the guys in the back, like they used to do yeah, with WCW, because the yeah. shark cages look silly. Yeah. yeah. But they, had, they had a shark fetish at the time. Shark cage fetish. Yeah. Because they did like Gotta three different ones. toys, damn it. Yes. Because <laughs> they had the, the, the Destro Classic last year when it was Authors of Pain versus TM61 where they had the Authors of Pain manager in a cage above the ring. Oh, mm-hmm. And then the match between uh, Big Cass and um, uh, it was Enzo. No, Enzo was in the, it was in the cage. Big cast. Was big oh, when, cast big, when big Enzo show. was in the big show, was, big cast. Yeah, was when it? Enzo was up in the cage. Yeah, yeah, yeah and then like he, 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 he got like, scared of heights. Yeah. yeah, he got naked. And yeah, yeah. Uh, that was terrible. <laughs> so, uh, I got EC three for this one. Ooh, I can't imagine they would bring him in. Would not. I mean, I don't know what you would do with. Um, I know he just came in, but I, I'm just kind of thinking, well, who else, other than maybe. Because you guys seem to really think it's going to be Adam Cole. I, I See, the know. reason I disagree with the EC3 thing is because they've kind of steered away from, hey, you're new, here you go. Right. Hence why Adam Cole hasn't won the belt already. Yeah. Or it took a little bit of while for Fish and O'Reilly to win the belts. So that's the reason I don't see EC3 or Ricochet winning it. I do not see... Uh, see, Ricochet... I... And, and I don't know. Again, I haven't... Watching NXT a while, Ricochet's King Puma, right? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Prince, he's, he's Prince, Prince Puma. Yeah, I'm he's, sorry, he's the flippy guy. He's <laughs> amazing. That's a 205 live guy that they can build oh. the show around. Yeah, I, I don't. I, I want so much for him. I want. He's he's so damn talented. Yeah, when we saw him live. He he's got it, man. He's, mm-hmm. But I'm going out of cool with this one, just cause like I was saying earlier, is. Hey, they're gonna lose the NXT belt, the tag team belts. It may not be because of Cole, but they're gonna lose the belts, and then have Cole redeem it in a way to becoming the first uh, North American champion. Yeah, they'll probably do something with Cole, where like the Authors of Pain, they're gonna just crush him right at the beginning of the match. So in a lot in that tag team match, they probably won't use him as much, especially because yeah. I mean I know double duty, but that's a 
tag team match with the Authors of Pain. And then a ladder match yeah. with a shitload of other people. There's some people that have known to just do spot, kill, kill, kill. Mm. And then you also have to worry about uh, Killian Dane and Lars Sullivan. Lars Sullivan to me. Just... Yes and no. I think Lars Sullivan and Killian Dane are going to eliminate each other out of the match. Yeah, there's... but you know they're going to do a couple of power spots where they oh, kill yeah. everybody in the ring first. There's going to be at least two broken ladders in that match. I yeah, like because they're... of that. <laughs> like we're or forgetting about Vel- Velveteen. Yeah, it's like we're not even I'm, considering him and watching him win at all. I, I mean, I, I mean, uh, he could definitely be a surprise. Um, yeah, I just, I, I, I really, I, I really like his look. As weird as it is, <laughs> I like his look. Um, he's got charisma for days, yes, man. and yeah. I like the whole how he comes to the ring and how he holds himself in the ring yeah. and everything else. He's, he's really good. Uh, I just see, I just see EC three winning. Yeah, see. That was another one that you, you look at and like, oh god, he's just a wrestler. I mean, he yeah. is a and a champion too. Yeah, that's it. That's that is what I look at and I say, that if I saw him on the streets, that's one guy you go, man, he should be a wrestler because of right. how he looks. You think you can build that division around Cole? Not really, you have not, to. Not only like Cole, but on his feet error, and essentially. Because oh, because you can do, like the double. Okay, but then what do you do with well, the title? You make him keep the tag title, or is he giving no, it? They're gonna lose. Like I was saying, they're, they're gonna lose the tag. Right. He's gonna gain the um, the North American. Right. But essentially, yeah, it's gonna be around Cole. But he also has undisputed air behind his in his pocket, backing him up. Mm-hmm. Kind of like Evolution in a way. Right. Yeah. yeah, you had your single champions, but they worked as a group. Yeah. So because uh, Kyle O'Reilly, unfortunately, is not gonna be doing much since Fish is injured. Yeah. So, it gives them the spotlight still, without it gives them the, the, the time because everybody enjoys those characters, right? Yeah. Especially with them, uh, major upbringing from Ring of Honor. Yeah. So, and it's like the only reason I don't see EC like back to what I was saying with new guys. As the reason I don't see EC three winning it, just because they don't hand out to new people just yet. Yeah, but see, I think he might be like a different case. He's just one of those Maybe. guys where he was such a big deal. I can see EC three as the first few. With Cole, and then have EC3 take the belt off of Cole like the next takeover. I don't know, man. It's, it's hard. So but, who did you say you had? Yeah, I didn't pick yet. You didn't um, pick. Who do you have, Josh? Uh, I had EC3. 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 You think Cole? I feel like if I was Adam Cole, baby. <laughs> if I was picking it, if I was booking it myself, I feel like I would give EC3 just because he's he's the, he'd be a good heel to come in and just. And and yeah right, no. but especially because everybody else in this match he could face with you know with that title yeah. and be a legitimate contender even even with the bigger guys like Killian Dane and Lars Sullivan because EC three is it's spectacular to see but he's also he's jacked. Yeah. Also, I mean after sure. Adam Cole's match with Cassie Sano last week, I think he can keep up. Yeah, because he actually lifted him up and did the the uh, the drop neckbreaker thing to him. Yeah, and Cassie Sano is fucking. Brutal. Just yeah. every time you see him throw a forearm or just any, you see his arm swing at somebody, you're like, that's gonna hurt. Yeah. But, so, kill so, Can't, you can't decide? I, it's, Velveteen Dream. It's, it's, <laughs> I mean, that, that like you, we were you saying, he'd be the surprise winner. I'm gonna yeah. say, yeah, let's go with Dream. Come on. <laughs> yeah. It, it's cause, he, I'm trying to consider what they're gonna go next for Black, too, cause, uh, yeah. Cole, Cole can be the, the NXT champion easily. Now, so it's hard to decide that. The the North, again, forgive me, I haven't been watching a lot lately. Mm-hmm. North American Championship, they're trying to make it that television kind of title. They're already U.S. title. IC yeah, it's the mid-card. Title. Mid-card Well, title. yeah, because they, right, cause they don't have one. They don't have like a cruiserweight. Every single down. person on that list is completely capable of winning. That's, yeah, that's, that's so the best to, part yeah. about NXT yeah, yeah. is... There's no real clear-cut winner. Like, if, no. we, if we see Miz versus Apollo Crews at a Raw event for the IC title, we know what's happening. Right. We, we know it's it's going to be Miz. Um, this, though, yeah. this is this is just... Because uh, not only are they mid-card contenders, they're also main main title contenders. That's yes. why it's so yeah, it's right, hard that's, to pick. That's what I was thinking, too, is if you have Almas win, then you have EC3 move up to the NXT championship because then, then you know you're saying that they don't give it away but yeah. it would be I mean I could that would see, be a hell of a feud I don't see you see there as a champion I see him as the fr- first title feud yeah, yeah. and yeah, then that's, that's a good one yeah. yeah so who do you got 
Oh man. One of those guys. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> they got the, they got the kind of, Oh yeah. I'm gonna go with we didn't Cole. mention There's it. six names and you just gotta pick I'll go with Cole. We didn't mention though is it's a ladder match too. Yeah. yeah. So, so oh yeah. We forgot to mention that at the beginning. I just don't yeah. know where yeah. they so, want to take this. That's what's so good about NXT. Like it's not predictable, so you don't know where they're wanting to go. Like if I had more of an idea of what storylines they want to go with, it'd be easier to pick. Yeah. Because if they wanted, they could have Ricochet and EC3 be the first feud for this. Or they could have Velveteen win it and have Ricochet and them two feud for it. They could have Adam Ooh. Cole win. Like there's so much they could go with. Yeah. I don't. I just don't know. You just gotta think of who's a champion. Who's a champion in that list? Yes. If you just pick one. It's, it's saying yes. Just, Adam just Cole. Just pick one. Adam Cole. Adam Cole. Yeah. See, with me, it's EC3. Like, not saying Adam Cole's not, not saying none of these guys are. Right. But when I'm looking at this list, especially what I know, and I'm, Velveteen Dream is the only one I'm not super familiar with. Um, it probably is EC3. I just see EC3. <laughs> when you just say, like, who's the first champion? You look at that list, it's yeah. just, that's how yeah. I'm picking it. You know what I mean? Because it, it could be... It could be all of them. I mean, Velveteen yeah. Dream's the only one I'm kind of nothing against them, but and it's see, just... If I have to put Velveteen Dream at, like, at the ranking of the, of yeah. the six, six, it would be the bottom one. He's more... He, he's he is, that belt. He's, he's the title... He's he, going to win that belt just He can contend us. for the heavyweight, <laughs> but I can see him more as a mid-card. Yeah, I can see mid- him as a, as a as the NXT champion. See, the reason I said EC3 is because he's going to... I think he's going to... AC3 is going to be a long-time WWE guy. Um, and yeah. I think he's going to hold that position that Miz, Dolph Ziggler, uh, Daniel Bryan, for a while, had it. That mid-card, distinguished, head of the mid-card kind of guy. Reliable guy. Yeah, like yeah. Mr. Perfect. Mr. Perfect. Kurt Henning, perfect example. Yeah. Um, it Just that I think he looks, he feels like that... Head of the mid card, yeah, kind of guy. I mean, but he could also still be the NXT champion. Yes. You can yeah. see him in, in, as a champion on the main roster as well. I see him as a champion, just not his first the match. First one, yeah, not his first match. Yeah, because so, he hasn't wrestled yet. So, so this Adam, is you guys here got Adam Cole, and then we got EC3. All right, so you move on to the NXT championship. Andrade Cien Elmas and Alistair Black. Now, um. I can honestly say I only know a little bit about Amos, and that's just watching his matches. I don't really, like I said, we, like Josh, I don't follow it as much. And Aleister Black, I know he had a great feud with uh, Velveteen Dream. Yeah. Um, the promos and everything. Yeah, really yeah, that, that I did follow somewhat. Um, now, Aleister Black is recently, I don't know what he's doing. I've seen him in, like, a suit, which kind of threw me off. I don't well, really I mean, know. He I dresses stylish casual. Oh, he, promo, he wears, yeah. like, a nice black. Yeah. yeah. Just, Big dude too. He is a striker. Oh yeah, you gotta watch Killing Dane versus Aleister Black from like a month ago. Mm-hmm. Man, the way that Black match comes out of nowhere and his. Yeah. <sighs> I will say this almost. I I remember this distinctly from a few months back when he had the mariachi band bring him out. Yeah. If they don't do it at this freaking event, I'm gonna New be angry. Orleans, yeah. yeah. Because that would be well. If they only had to do a mariachi, maybe they'd actually do a like, big band. Yeah, maybe like a, maybe yeah, maybe like a French Quarter style band. Yeah, yeah. that'd be cool. Follow him out. That'd be that'd be pretty. pretty cool. come, he came out with a mask for that. He came out with his old mask. He wore. I know. I, I again, I know a little bit about him. I don't know as much as you guys probably know about him, right. but I know he's a good worker. I know yeah. he's. I know he's very skilled in the ring. I mean, if this is anything, him and Gargano at Last Takeover got yes. the first five star rating. Dave Meltzer. In seven years, right. and that's, that's WWE's first five star in seven years. That's awesome. And that match was was phenomenal. That's a strong contender for match of the year. That's awesome. Yeah, um, Alistair looks like a heel champion, which he's a face. <laughs> yeah, I know, but he he's looks like, neutral. Yeah, yeah I agree. he can play either side. Yeah, he but looks, he, but he, he looks like all a heel the all man. the set photos that you get of yeah. him. Looks like he could go heel, and if he was a heel champion, that would be awesome. Because I think he looks like he's just that big Dutch dude just mm-hmm. needs he, the I Dutch see, destroyer. Yeah, he I needs think he needs to be a champion, even if it's a mid level. I've seen yeah. videos where people like are like uh, thrown out a pitch for like a new ministry of darkness through him. That'd be cool. <laughs> <laughs> like I could see that. Yeah, that'd be that'd be really neat. But I mean. NXT, ugh, that 
Speaking of that, NXT is really the place you go for factions, which is the cool thing. Yeah. They go that old school route where they have two or three on there. And yeah. It's, I, I love it. Fun. Yeah. Yeah, I would love to see an NXT faction. I would love to see a takeover, like, um, for the main roster. Oh, okay. I would love to see a lot of their guys come up. And then you already have guys there. Right. You know what I mean? So then just you already have your inside the guys. takeover. Or something yeah, like that. and then you're just having people, you know, attack them. Because you got Kevin Owens and Sami Zayn right there. You know what I mean? Yeah. You have a lot of those big name guys that are already in, they just implanted in there. Mm-hmm. See, it'd be perfect for Survivor Series. Instead of a typical 5-5, five five, do a 6-on-6. Six six. Do NXT and versus Raw and SmackDown. Yeah, right. Three guys from each show. Oh, that'd, that'd be awesome. cool. Yeah, yeah. That'd be, cool. that'd be a strong match. Yeah. Yep. Um, I honestly, with this one, I, I, I really don't know enough about it to, to pick anyone with conviction. I'm gonna uh, say, I really like Almas, though. I love this, this, some of the work that I've seen from him. He's really entertaining. I'm going to say my hopeful. I don't think he is going to win, but I'm going to say yeah. Black. Um, time. I, I like him a lot, um, but I, that's my hopeful because I, I like the character. I like the look that I've seen and the little stuff that I have seen. I like him. It's it's hard. Like the almost like they worked so hard because he didn't stick right away. Like mm. they had to stick uh, Selena Vega with him, and they did this like gimmick where like he didn't care. He was losing all his matches because all he cared about was partying. And when they stuck him with uh, her with him, he started all of a sudden like getting these victories. Now he's the NXT champion of nowhere. It became this like great just turn yeah. of a character, and now everybody cares about him. Yeah. And so if, if the title gets taken off of him. What are we gonna do with Almas? So that's that's one thing that makes me not think it's gonna be black, but I um, just can't see black losing. What is what is Almas build as? Like, what's his weight? He's a he's pretty a much, he's, he's a, a pretty, pretty beefy pounds, guy. Yeah. Yeah, he's is built. He, he's, he's, like, he's like is huge. He a cruiser weight? I he think he's over two hundred five. Yeah, like a cruiser yeah. Weight. I mean, he's a big dude. Let me see if I. Can. He looks like he's two twenty five, two thirty five, yeah. something like okay. that. He's built. So you don't think this is his call up, lost call up? I I think it is. Yeah. I think Black is winning just to finally push up on um, almost. Yeah. 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 If if not now then SummerSlam. But have him lose the belt to Black, rematch a takeover for Brooklyn, I guessing again in the the fourth time this year. <laughs> um those fucking rematches, man. And then Get have almost definitely lose that one and then call up a SummerSlam if it's not yeah. now. But I see Black I I I think Black is gonna win it. Yeah. Well, he's definitely, I mean, the looks of a yeah. champion. So, so um, other thing that I forgot to mention during the tag match, uh, any chance that we see Heavy, uh, not Heavy Machine, War Machine? Afterwards. Do like, you guys know anything about War Machine? Um, I've heard of them. They basically look like Killian Dane. <laughs> <laughs> but it's and like I'm talking about move like heavyweights moving like cruiserweights. Yeah. Oh jeez. Yeah. See, they're big guys, but they move. I've I've heard that about them. One guy does a freaking cartwheel. Get out of the way. <laughs> and he's well, about your size. Oh wow. <laughs> yeah. Josh, cartwheel. <laughs> Outside. When when me and him, <laughs> me, <laughs> me and him in November twelfth, we went to a Ring of Honor uh, TV taping. And it, there was like this uh, big six man, or maybe it was ten man. Ten man, yeah, it was. It was a ten man like point. Christmas tag match, and this like all nine competitors were outside the ring, and this big motherfucker just, d- what does he do? What kind of move do you? He know? just jumps off. He, I thought like, he did like a front flip or something. Dude, he, 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 he cannonballs, yeah. Yeah. Oh, it was, oh Jesus! And he climbs to the top, turn turn, turn buckle, and does a cannonball. Oh, he just fucking. Jesus, yeah, I lost. Goes for I lost it. my yeah. shit. I wasn't expecting this yeah. big guy to. Yeah. He does it off the apron too. He'll come running at you and just cannonball off oh the apron. Oh my god. That's fucking bonkers. And, like, they're, they've been signed. They were signed, and they were at... Uh, last Takeover. The last Takeover in the crowd with Ricochet and EC3, but we mm-hmm. haven't seen them, and we've seen these two. So I was just wondering if maybe they'll get involved. Show They're up. not involved, but they need to come out afterwards. Yeah. Because yeah. that would be the only way I would change my pick to Authors of Pain, because I would love to see Authors of Pain versus War Machine. Just four big dudes just going. Yeah, they could shit do that without other. the titles on the line, though. They could do, they could do those two. Well, as like a normal contenders or something. Um, yeah, I just from how WWE operates, and this is supposed to be the end of a year. Yeah. Their yeah. their yeah, cycle. Like, yeah, it's like uh, season finale. I don't think anybody will get involved in a match, but Not definitely that. a 
Maybe that they, maybe they come out and they're dressed in whatever like hoodies and jeans or something like that. Either they way. point at them or something like that. Yeah, yeah. I don't see them getting involved. I just see them a post match yeah. confrontation. Yeah, something that won't result in any of these people having the their rematch. It just moves yeah. on to the next feud. I mean, even with Indisputed Era, it, it began essentially Art Ring of Honor versus Ring of Honor. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But yeah, War Machine is one that was one of the biggest tag teams in Ring of Honor. As well as New Japan, because yeah, they yeah, simultaneously yeah. hold the Ring of Honor tag teams and the New Japan tag team belts. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, that's pretty. That's pretty impressive. So, All right, they're great workers, and they're. I mean, essentially, they're they're another Viking gimmick. Essentially, I mean, they're I'm all for it. <laughs> <laughs> By the way, if anybody knows this, I am just. If it's Viking, I love it. So just you, continue. One of their finisher is called <laughs> Thor's hammer. Nice. And what it is is a assisted right. pop up power slam. Uh, they're my favorite <laughs> tag team Them. ever. Yeah. Yes, they win I the tag titles. They, they won the tag titles. All the tag titles <laughs> on Raw and SmackDown as well. But yeah, better than the Dudley Boys. Their name basically it's Row now, and they call them War. War, War. <laughs> You'll enjoy this: Warbeard Hanson and Warbeard Row. Nice. Uh, That's what they call them. Warbeard. That's awesome. Um, but yeah, their one of their finishers is called Thor's Hammer, which Row is. If you look at pictures, he's the bald one. Mm-hmm. Pops him up, and then Hanson catches him, and then power slams him. And then the other move. Oh, okay, so two ten. The other one, they move the other finish. The I forget the name of it. Huge off five pounds. But <laughs> essentially, Rowe picks him up in a back body sl- or slam, mm-hmm. while Hanson blade drops. Him. Oh my god. Yeah. And like I said, they're big dudes. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> So yeah. you can just see him just fall in love immediately. <laughs> yep. Oh yeah. <laughs> yes, those yep, are his mine. guys. <laughs> uh, yeah, that was the one we saw do a front flip off the top. Yeah, the cannonball. <laughs> that's 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 like me doing a front flip off the top. Oh my exactly. god. But uh, they're they're great workers. I mean, they they're great in the ring. Yeah. So okay, I would love to see them finally debut and feud. I mean, I'd be okay with any of the, these teams. I know it won't be Roger and. Roger Strong and be done because mm-hmm. I feel if they don't win the tag belts, they're done as a team, yeah. essentially. Right. It was just kind of a. I would love to see done with two titles. Yeah. It would make that. that it would definitely head. make that UK title more legit too. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So to kind of round this off, this is usually the weekend that we see a ton of call ups. Who are your like top two or three guys that you see, see call up? I guess authors of pain. Authors pain. Yeah. Um. Yeah. I, I, off this list. Yeah, I would see authors of pain. Oh, I got, it, I got. It. Gargano, Ember, and almost. So like if half it, the card. Yeah. <laughs> basically, almost everybody from each match. Yeah. Basically, all the losers and every one of these matches, except for the ladder match. Right. Um, they're. Uh, if they're gonna do the call-ups. Right. Because yeah. those are the ones that I would see can hold their ground for a while. Yeah. Um, I'm forgetting their name, but Billy Kay and Peyton Royce. Yeah. They, yeah. Their, their little <laughs> click thing. I see them moving up. <laughs> Marcus, if you can see him, is just very I, excited about them. I'm not a fan. Yeah, yeah, I, I, I don't, don't really. like them. They're, they're, they're pretty. They're, I'll give them that. They're yeah. good to look at, but... Billy Kay's uh, ring attire is ridiculous, <laughs> though. Oh, the... Uh, they're, they're good, annoying the, little heels the together. Velvet. The velvet. The yeah, velvet, yeah. The velvet, velvet just like, oh. I mean, I wouldn't mind petting it. <laughs> yeah, but I mean, like, on the floor. Uh. <laughs> well, you know, they've been, like, rumored for, like, a women's tag team title. So they're going to do something like they that. They really should. So, they should do a tag I, division. I mean, if they do debut it, they're probably a... That's when I'm getting bumped up as yeah. a entry into that tournament. Well, yeah, you add... Yeah, because you can... And then you can get all those women from the Mae Young Classic up. I, I, other than that, I don't really see many call ups right away. I think it would be a lot of post Brooklyn call ups for people like Almas and Moon. Uh, but other than yeah, that, get their rematch and loss and then mm-hmm. up. Yeah, I just really would like to see Amber Moon in the main roster. Um, and then talking so much about Gargano being a 205 at this time, it could be an awesome fit in there. Yeah. We definitely add a lot of legitimacy to it. Not saying it's you know it's not legitimate, but I mean the Mustafa Ali and Cedric Alexander's match. I'm, yeah, I mean oh, Mustafa man. Ali is that's like my third most exciting. Yeah, match. see, I'm like I, I I've just, been watching lately though. And, yeah, 
And then I know they're going to put on a hell of a show. I yeah. Just, I hate that it does. It's going to be better than Neville and Aries last year. Yeah, yeah, see, I'm not, I'm not an Austin Aries fan. I think he's super overrated. He's a prick too. That's kind of the thing. Is but he's a what? He's a vegan. He's, he's prick, five. Right? He's a. He's the champ, or the title collector now, or something. Yeah, he has himself. five championships. Yeah, that's funny. Yeah, because he's running TNA. through in, indie shows. He yeah. has the TNA heavyweight and the X he's division. The, he's the defiant champion too, which is WCP. Right. right. Yep, yep. Yeah. Um. He's oh, an Australian, Australian, Australian champion, uh, Australian league champion, sure. and I think ICW. I don't think he won that. And then he's like a... He has no... Basically, he has three indie belts. He's going to start going to like indie shows where there's like 20 fans and just being <laughs> the champion. Thank you. And leaving with the title. Thank but you. He comes Thank walking you. out with... He's going like Ultimo Dragon. Yeah. He comes walking with all the belts. And he just recently challenged um, Kenny it? King, yeah. which is the Ring of Honor team yeah, champion. Yeah, yeah, So, yeah, that's the only belt in Ring of Honor he hasn't held. Kenny King. There's a great uh, Jim Cornette uh, video about Kenny King. It's fucking hilarious. <laughs> it's like a 20-minute thing. Um, yeah, uh, I'd like to see Gargano and uh, Ember Moon go up. Authors right. of Pain would be cool too, because you don't, especially if they lose this match. Like, where do you really go with them? Yeah, it would be cool to see them might fight other. Because um, then you have like Heavy Machinery. They're still a tag team, right? Are they yeah. still around? But I mean, that's kind of like War Machines. Kind of, yeah. Seems like it's the it's same thing, version. but yeah, yeah it's. <laughs> Big guys like that, but they, that can really like two Cesaros. Um, yeah. yeah, you can't really, you can only have so many like big man teams, and it would be cool to see a big man uh, tag team. Because then, other than Braun Strowman bringing out like the big show, I mean, yeah. you don't really have. I mean, you have Cesaro and Sheamus, but even still, they're not like your other two tag teams are the Usos. I would love to see the Authors of Bane come out and murder the Usos. If they <laughs> Usos won. They just come out and destroy them, especially like WrestleMania. Oh, well, the great. Bludgeon Brothers versus yeah, the Authors, Authors of Pain. Of Pain. <laughs> yeah, they could do that, and then <laughs> you just need to have a big man tag team like Gauntlet, and then you just bring in War Machine and Heavy Machinery and Authors of Pain and the Bludgeon Brothers. Hey, um, it's a rumor like the backlash at the pay per view after Mania. Yeah. They're gonna do like a like a draft there. I like guess it's gonna mm-hmm. have like it's gonna be a dual branded pay per view and it's gonna be like a draft. Yeah, like a see, superstar shakeup. We, we could see call ups then too. We might not see a lot of the night after mania. I mean, yeah, there's that's gonna true. be some night after mania. Yeah, yeah. starting backlash. All the pay per views are back to call yeah, out. right, which is good. They should be because um, you're not giving enough the shows enough time to do anything. Right. Um, like with the Charlotte Oscar thing, it could have been so much bigger. But then like your two weeks, we she's going to SmackDown. What? Yeah. Uh, okay, so that's been our NXT. Uh, you want to just go through it one more time to say, so for the tag team champions, uh, I have Roger Strong and Pete Dunne. As did I. Authors of Pain. Authors of Pain. I'm going to be the weird one and pick uh, Undisputed here. Yeah. I don't. That's not what I want, but... Right. Adam Cole. <laughs> yes, um, yes. All right, then Gargano and Ciampa. I have... I had Gargano, but now, like... Thinking about yeah. it moving up, I'm going to probably switch to Ciampa. So, yeah, this would be the time to switch. If yeah, you I'm going to... Yeah, it's probably going to be Ciampa. I'm going to say Gargano. Champa, Champa. I'm gonna stick with Champa as well. Champa. All right, NXT Women's Championship. As much as I would like to see Ember Moon move up, I uh, I don't see Shayna Baszler as it. I mean, it'd be cool, like you said, she's got a the heel thing about her, so there's more competition for heels and they're all faces. Uh, but I think Ember Moon's just really good at it. Yeah, it's gonna be Ember Moon. Yeah, I'm gonna go with Shayna Baszler because you got people like Dakota Kai with good faces and and. Kyrie saying who need a heel to chase after. Right, and especially because they're smaller too, and then Shayna Baszler's just like a just, she's, a, Baszler. she's a female Pete Dunn. She just beat the shit out of her. More I'm like almost Brock Brock Lesnar in a way. Which, well yeah, but I mean like size wise. Well, yeah, size wise yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but I'm, I'm gonna stick with Ember though for that one. Yeah. I'm gonna stick with Ember as well. Ember. Alright, and then for the NXT North American Championship, which is a ladder match. Yes. Uh, <laughs> I have EC three going over. EC three as well. Adam Cole, baby! God, I want to switch to EC3. <laughs> yeah? I don't remember who you picked to begin with. He wasn't really Adam Strong. He's at Velveteen, but then you said Cole. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, that's kind of what I was thinking. Because if. I feel like Cole's walking out with one championship. So if he doesn't walk out tag title, he's going to walk out. That's, yeah, that's one Especially because you said you yeah. have the Undisputed Era, and it's a. If, I'll that could be more of a story. Because yeah. you said one of the guys is injured, right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Well, then him coming back and being like, hey, that's my title. Yeah. Well, well it's, it's like the, the, the actual tag. Well, it's the only reason the freebirding is because Cole, yeah. or because Fitch is injured. Right. But it then, wasn't originally freebird, though. Right. 
Okay, and then for the uh, who'd you have? EC3, you said? Yeah, yep. Okay, and NXT Championship. Well, did you finalize on one? You said EC, EC3? Yeah, it's easy EC3. EC3. All yeah. right. And then the championship. Um, I got black. I'm sticking with black as well. <sighs> black, mass, all day. Yeah. And then you have Almas. Oh, well, yeah, and then you have his rematch. And then, yeah, I guess that sounds probably about right. Because he's supposed to be, he's a face. But he Almas? Does not, no, no, no. Black. He's a he neutral. He does not look like he's, he's, a, he's a lawful like you neutral. Mentioning. He, you look at him, you're like, hmm. He's like, he's he like, looks he like, like a heel. He looks like the bad guy in Far Cry 5. Yeah. He looks like the cult leader. He yeah. looks just like that guy. That guy is not a good guy. But if anything... You're telling me um, the cult leader is not a good guy? <laughs> no. Because Alistair. it's Alistair Black. That sounds evil as shit. <laughs> it does. I mean, his <laughs> indie name Tommy. was Tommy End. <laughs> <laughs> but Alistair Black is like his final form. You're like he gets killed, and then he becomes <laughs> Alistair Black. It's, it's like so- the Undertaker. Undertaker, I would never say like, he sounds like any Harry Potter fan. He sounds like Harry Potter. He sounds like Sirius Black's evil brother. He's a, yeah, yeah, right. And it's, it's the one that was in Slytherin. He, you know, maybe maybe murdered somebody at Hogwarts. Yeah, I don't know. yeah. But, he had a little cult inside the school. But, yeah. you know, if you put Alistair Black in any category, I guess you can put him as a lawful neutral. Okay. Okay. I mean, you can put him in any category, he's a lawful neutral. All right. I so, love Don. Yeah, he doesn't uh, give a shit, but he's not getting pushed around. La- last week on uh, NXT, he's in. He's like in the parking lot and almost attacks him, but when the camera goes to him, he's already got his shirt like ripped and his, and his pants ripped, and like people were saying that he was like hulking out. So we all have. Out. I'm gonna go with black. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Well, that's gonna wrap it up. I guess we'll come back and do. Something else. I don't know if we decided on anything yet. No, yeah, we can review yes. Bania reactions. Well, that's next Well, yeah, week. right. I'm talking about, about after this. Yeah. Okay. okay. All right, bye, everybody. <laughs> bye. Uh, <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ, woman.